Tonight, police believe the man accused of murdering two Boston doctors may have tried to rob a third bank last summer. Somerville police are investigating whether this is Bompamum Texera. They say the man tried to hold up a bank last July but got away without any money. Texera pleaded guilty to two other robberies, and it's raised a question. Should that have been enough to get the green card holder deported? As WBZ's Beth Germano found out, it's a question even veteran attorneys have trouble answering. Should Bampamim Texera have been in the United States when he allegedly murdered two prominent Boston doctors? He served time for two unarmed bank robberies in 2014 and 2016 after pleading guilty in a plea deal. Immigration attorney Marisa DeFranco says that's grounds for deportation and ICE should have been notified. It happens from law, local law enforcement informing ICE, hey, we have this guy in the House of Corrections. He's coming up for release. What do you want to do with him? He's a non-citizen that now has a criminal record. But the length of his sentence is significant. It was 364 days. For Texera to be deportable, the sentence would have had to be at least a year or 365 days. DeFranco calls it a loophole in immigration law. It's a tactic used by defense attorneys to prevent the immigration consequences of somebody's convictions. Texera is accused in the brutal deaths of doctors 49-year-old Richard Field, and 38-year-old Lena Bolaños inside their Dorchester penthouse condominium. The building security company revealed yesterday he was employed as a concierge there from October 2015 to April 2016. His background check and references were clean. Now his sentence for the robberies appears to have allowed him to keep his green card and skirt federal immigration laws. The question is why. It doesn't necessarily mean he's not deportable. There's other analyses that need to be done. And that's ISIS jurisdiction. In fact, the unarmed robbery charges against Texera were also reduced. A spokesman for the Suffolk County District Attorney says that was done to move the case to a lower court where they were more confident of getting Texera to serve time. Of the 364 days, he served nine months, which the DA felt was appropriate. I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.